Around midday, many were frustrated because the computers in the Iranian departure hall hadn't been working since two in the morning. Of course, some people were getting impatient. But finally, the border officials had a change of heart and sent us out with just a stamp in our passport. Unfortunately, the misery continued outside. Because, of course, we had to join the long line of trucks with Globi. We were allowed to take a shortcut, but were soon pushed back into the line. We had left Iran. Now it was time to enter Iraq. Not an easy undertaking either, given the many positions we had to go through. And all of this takes place in a village of Barak's offices with no visible structure. It was already after 10 o'clock in the evening when we finally got our visas, carnets and passports stamped. The other four Swiss couples and we were more than exhausted. We didn't really care whether the scanner was actually working. We just wanted to get out of here and finally park somewhere, but nothing. Some guy wanted to walk through the car with a drug dog, but this time we stood in his way. And finally, finally we see a gate, the long-awaited exit. But there too, it had to be clarified whether we actually allowed to drive. Annoying. At 11 p.m. it's finally done. We can go to sleep. The next morning, we can hardly believe it, another check. But then, finally, the country road beckons. This border crossing was really amazing. 14 hours of chaos, bureaucracy and unreasonableness. Hopefully never again. To get to the border with Kuwait, we first have to make our way through Basra, the first big city in Iraq just after the border. As always, things are a bit chaotic, but the traffic is moving that's not too bad. And the view from the bridge over the city is worth it. But with little sleep and not really recovered from yesterday, the city didn't really cast its spell on us. Although, we got through very well apart from a few small traffic jams and construction sites. We are a little worried about the next border. We had already obtained the visa for Kuwait online, but you never know. Phew, we were lucky this time. Only four hours at the border and we didn't have to let the drug dog in either. In return, Peter was allowed to open all the outside storage boxes and flaps. We are happy to do that, as we don't have anything else to do. We made the drive into the sunset very tired. Our first stop in Kuwait was a parking lot of a huge shopping mall, where we could spend the night and fill up the fridges the next day. We haven't been so happy to have finally arrived somewhere in a long time. After two relaxing days in a square outside Kuwait city, we threw ourselves into the middle of the crowd to fill up with water. But there where was supposed to be water was none. 
Luckily, we met a local who kindly drove us across the entire city to a water tanker. They are everywhere here and you can even have them brought to you. We were really happy to be able to fill up our tank. A big thank you to the super friendly person. With our overland colleague, we drive to the long bridge that crosses the bay in front of Kuwait so that we can park there opposite the skyline of Kuwait. The aim of the two amateur photographers is to take a twilight time lapse. Let's see if that works. It was an amazingly quiet night, so close to the road. For today, we have planned to visit the art museum and the water towers, the landmark of Kuwait. The road layout is very elegant. Unfortunately, the cube of the art museum was not open to visitors. What a pity. The drive along the ring road, which runs parallel to the bay, is almost an architectural sightseeing tour. To see the water towers, we have to go to the other side of the road. And we can even spend the night in the parking lot there. Although it's Sunday, the construction work starts at 6 a.m. It is time for us to set off and enjoy the city in the morning light. After a nice breakfast on the side of the road, there is very little traffic at this time, we can drive leisurely out of the city. Today's driving day will be short. We only want to get to the Saudi border so that we have a whole day for the small border traffic tomorrow. <laughs> 